As a child, I was obsessed with glamorous women. It was the 1980s after all, and I had grown up with elegant Eastern Europeans whose fur coats paraded down the catwalk of the church aisle on their way to confession, kneeling in penitence in heels paired with frosted pink lips, clutching crystal rosary beads to the wispy scent of lingering incense. In spite of my convent school upbringing, I still love a gentle hint of frankincense in the air in a tall, cool room and elegant European architecture. And I'm drawn to the scented Spiritus Sancto candles from Sir Trudan. I'm constantly intrigued by the power of the senses to summon up memories and emotions hidden away in the museum of our minds that form the foundation of our own style stories, our belief and ideas on taste and beauty. I'm Alexandra Alenska, and I've worked as a creative director and stylist for luxury brands, including Chanel Celine and Vanessa Bruno as well as magazines including Vogue and Harper's Bazaar. And I've been featured in international press, including Forbes, Elle, The Sunday Times, and The Independent. I now help directors and leaders in midlife and beyond to rebalance that work, 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 busy, busy, busy lifestyle you've become accustomed to because you know life's too short to stay in that career-driven comfort zone. I help you to redesign and restyle your life, especially at midlife with life-changing transitions, such as the breakup of relationship, divorce, menopause, or turning 40 and beyond. From your home and your wardrobe to your mind and social life, I help you with your stylish next chapter to step into your best life because I know you're ready to rock life again. As a stylist and creative director, I harness the force of memory in our possessions and use that to empower us, curating and putting objects and clothes together in inspiring ways to tell new stories and evoke positive memories that empower our present. Just like putting on music from our teenage years, Nirvana anyone, encountering the wild berries of youth, seeing a colour that takes you down a nostalgic spiral, for me that's yellow, my mother's favourite colour, or wearing a piece of significant jewellery from your grandmother. Our possessions evoke thoughts and memories and echo ideas of how we see the world. Be they clothes or items in our homes, the things we surround ourselves with are physical manifestations of our beliefs. And with that knowledge, we can choose things that uplift us and inspire us. And likewise, infuse new finds with positive meanings that represent feelings that are significant to you right now. Through intentional living, the act of thoughtfully choosing and editing what we surround ourselves with, we can honor the past, celebrate the present, and use our possessions as an almost talismanic physical reminder of your gorgeous next level you that we all evolve into daily. It might take a lifetime to discover who we really are, to explore the many sides to ourselves that emerge and reveal themselves over the years. Yet often the grains of style are planted with us at an early age. At Midlife and Beyond, it becomes interesting to reflect on a lifetime of gathering, of people, of clothes, of things, and considering why we love what we do. It's about knowing what you like and why, as well as honing your taste to best work for you as you are now. And also knowing what's just a comfort zone or an old style story that keeps you stuck or no longer serves you and is in need of evolving and knowing how we want to feel now and into the future. I may still love soft, strokeable, silky textures that evoke the warm fuzzy furs and elegant dresses of my childhood, seen in the velvet cushions and sheepskin rugs of my home and my perennial love of a slip dress. I still love the elegant, gently bedazzled women I grew up with and adore a gown and a hint of everyday sparkle. Though I'm leaving their shoulder pads, peacock eyeshadows and shimmering icy pink lips in the 1980s, at least for now.